What's going on guys, Auzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got my guy Tom Pet, professional footballer's card. I thought I would never see the day that I see a pro player's card on my screen. But somehow, some way, it's actually happened. And I want you guys to go send some love over to his side and hit him up with a follow on Twitch. And actually subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Both links will be in the description and they will be as a pinned comment on this video. Now, he has got 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 96 shooting, 98 passing, 95 physical and 84 defending. I was honestly getting fed up a little bit by consistently saying 90 something. Finally, we eventually got that 84 in there. Now, he is actually a cam, but he's moved himself into the CDM position simply because he wanted to get himself on full cam. But yeah, he's 5 for 8 and 5 for 8 for a cam is beautiful. We all know that. It's literally a perfect height. He has got medium, medium work rates, which is the perfect attacking work rates as well. Three star skill moves. I believe that's probably going to be the most disappointing bit about this card. Because once you see these stats, you're honestly going to just be blown away. He's literally got everything. Everything apart from one thing. The three star skill moves. Now, four star weak foot is obviously going to be nice because I can shoot with both feet. He is on a Hawk Chem style. He is on 10 Chem. If you're looking at it, I believe Hawk Chem style is probably perfect because he really doesn't need anything else apart from that sprint speed. 99 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Pace wise, he doesn't lack it. Let's just say that. 99 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 95 volleys, and 99 penalties. How many stats are 99? Like, God damn, he hasn't got any shooting traits, which is a bit disappointing, but I don't believe he's going to need them. Passing-wise, 98 vision, 96 crossing, 89 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 93 long passing, and 94 curve. Did I say, I think I said 99 short passing and 93 long passing, oh, whatever. Either way, passing-wise, he should be an absolute god. god. The LB-wise, the little tick attack of play should be spot on. Dribbling aspect. Now, him being 5 for 8 and having 99 dribbling on the card, I'm already sitting here saying to myself, right, please feel like someone like Lionel Messi. Please feel like Neymar in-game. And that's what I'm obviously hoping for because look at the stats. 99 agility, 99 balance, 93 reactions, 93 ball control, 94 dribbling, and 99 composure. Now, Tom Pett, I tell you what, you low-key could play in that CDM position as well. Because you are 5 for 8. You're not an amazing height for the CDM position. But looking at defensive stats without even an ankle or a shadow, 84 defensive awareness, 85 standing tackling, and 91 interceptions is not bad at all. Now, when it comes down to physicals, 91 strength for a 5 for 8 player is disgusting, especially in this FIFA. You don't tend to see small players with a high strength. Now, he has got 99 stamina, 99 jumping as well, but 71 strength. As you clearly can see, the Hawk Cam style does obviously boost it by plus 10, giving him 71. And that is something I think you need in that cam role if you are obviously fighting for the club. But you're ready for the team. Yeah, it's kind of what you expected, all right? You see the Rio, you see the Zerbio, you see the Trent, you see the Ronaldo, the Hullet, the Sanchez, and you see the man, the myth, the legend. Moments are nine. Now, if you are questioning, oh, he's played 307 games and he's only got 127 goals with 101 assists. Now, that's not a terrible game to goal ratio, if you ask me, but I know a lot of people will question it. But come on now. Look at that game to goal ratio. Come on now. I'm not sure what his air is. Oh, come on now. You can kind of see who scores the goal, who scores the goals in this squad. But today, I will play Pet in a 4-2-3-1 in that cam roll. But also, I want to try him up front in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. The Little pass up Pet. I am going to go for an over-top through ball. It is going to be a perfect pass. This guy is sweating. He sees that pro player card and he knows what's going to go down. But let's see. Pet's made a really decent run, but he is covering me. Quick turns. Going to go the same way. Another quick turn. Oh, my God. If he finished that, especially at like a really bad angle of going away from goal, I would have been insanely surprised. But you can see how good he is at dribbling. Ronaldo, straight to Pet. Fake shot. Go towards that near post. 99 finishing. 99 shot power. Van der Sar, why even dive? 
There's no point. You're not going to save that. Let's all be fair. That was a spot on touch. That fake shot to get that angle towards the near post was perfect as well. And he wasn't going to miss. I'm going to Y past this. Let's see if he can actually get around Mendy. He does. His pace, by the way, looks ridiculously good. Little ball roll. Did a little twist and turns. Half drag back. Pass towards the near post. Or Zerbiel towards the near post there. Excuse me? Or Zerbiel on his, on his right foot misses this. Surely he had to take, take a deflection. It didn't. So Pet scores at like a harder angle. But Zerbiel couldn't. Interesting. I'm going to try this, boys. It has to be tried. Oh, my God. It, listen, all right? FIFA 19 memories. It had to be tried at least once, okay? Maybe this 99 rated card could bring back a few memories. So, I had to try that green time finesse from outside the box. Obviously, it doesn't go in, though. Drag back. Pass to Tom. Tom's going to fake shot onto that right foot. I should have took my time there. I had plenty of plenty of space. I've noticed his attacking positioning is one of the best I've ever seen. The way he just positioned himself literally every time perfect, it just allows me to pretty much pass the ball straight to his feet and pretty much do whatever I want. Pass the pet. Can I get a quick one too? Hopefully I can. I'm going to drag back onto that four-star weak foot. Can I get to finish? Yes, I can. I'm telling you, man. It doesn't matter. Whatever foot I have, I have to take the shot on. It's going to go into the back of the net as long as it's a good angle. Now, with the weak foot there, I did low-key notice it took a bit longer than I did actually expect. But you have to understand, it's a four-star weak foot, not a five. But side netting, once again, Van der Sar, you have no chance. There's no point of diving. Pet once again. Little pass to Ronaldo there. Pass back to him. Can I take that shot? Van der Sar pulling out a wonder save this time. Very interesting. I've noticed with Pet, because how good his short passing is... He, like, does it instantly. He's really, re like, his reaction time when I click the button compared to what it is in-game is literally spot on. And that's what I love about him because I can do these quick first-time passes. I can play tick attack a plate if I really want to. It's good dribbling. Really good dribbling. Fake shot around the corner as well. Oh, my God. Keep going forward. Oh, I tried to do a fake shot, then obviously cut in, and I was going to give it... Oh, well, I was going to try to give it to R9 moments, but... His commitment there is unbelievable. I feel like that comes down to his strength, but not just that. He's a little bit of aggression at the same time. Pass the pet here. Really good positioning. Cut inside. Going to try to go round Sergio Ramos. Do you see the left stick dribbling? This is what I mean. When his left stick dribbling is this good, sometimes you don't actually need skill moves. And I literally just shown it just there. The fact that you can do that ball roll, then take that three touches instantly, gave me an angle and... It didn't give the keeper no chance. It really didn't. At this angle, the ball's always going to go in. Use that pace. Fake shot around the corner. I'm going to tell him to come short. RB turn. Let's see his movement here. He goes straight in, back into the box. But look at him. Look at him. Even though he got intercepted. And I feel like I kind of delayed it a bit too much. Just to show you guys. But you see his positioning. And that is one thing I love. I honestly love when a striker sits back and wait for the ball rather than just like runs into my opponent's goal because that happens way too often. I'll be turned. Take that touch early. Go for that power shot towards the near post. I actually think he moved the keeper towards that near post. I'm going to watch the replay here because if he moved the keeper towards the near post and the ball still went... Ah, oh, no, don't tell me he's going to leave. He is going to leave, so we're not even going to be able to see the replay. For me, I think he moved the keeper towards the near post, and Tom still managed to score it. Hold it to Tom. Tom, little ball roll. Oh, my God. He moved. <gasps> what? No. This game has shaked it. This game has actually rigged it, because I even think he moved the keeper the other side, and Tom still didn't put it into the corner. Do you see the left stick dribbling though? And do you see the strength to hold off the midfield? Disgusting. But the only thing that was lacking was the actually the actual finish. LBY all the way over to the over the other side. And it, it was a perfect pass to be fair, but Ronaldo let me down of that pass. Now, that's one thing I love about Tom. The fact that he's not just a, a, person, a person that can score goals. He's also a playmaker, a dribbler, a person that is very fast as well. This guy can do it all. Pull it. To Tom. Tom, little ball roll. Left stick dribbling. He knows I want to go towards that near post. So I'm actually going to go across goal. And oh my God. What is this block? 
AI coming in clutch for this guy once again. Like, come on now. That is a guaranteed goal. I've completely faked out my opponent. Tom has done unbelievable when it comes down to left stick dribbling. And that's the result. Come on now, EA. So it is time to review him. And what was you expecting? You was probably expecting the best three-star skiller in the whole game. And that's exactly what we got. Now, I can't be out here comparing him to Moments of Zebu or even Moments R9. Because R9, 5-star skill moves. We know those skill moves brings the card to a whole new level. But Tom, the good thing about him was how good that left stick dribbling was. Because I actually felt for the first time this year that the left stick dribbling was the most responsive I've ever seen. Now, it could be because I actually had good gameplay on the PS4. Listen, I'm an Xbox player. I don't play PS4. But as soon as I hop onto this PS4, all of a sudden, I have god tier gameplay. No idea why. But, yeah. His, his left stick dribbling was the best I've ever used in any game. Hands down. Better than Team of Season Neymar. Better than Team of the Year Messi. Better than Team of the Year Ronaldo, let's say. I could not believe how good it was. Just like the angle touches, the extra touch that he needed to take, he took it. And I really couldn't believe it. Now, the medium medium work rate was unbelievable because it did really well with that 99 attacking positioning. Because he wasn't one of those players that, you know, ran offside for fun. That ran into your opponent's goal for fun. We all know those kind of players. He was a player that instantly cut back if... He saw me cut back. He responded to my movement. And that is a player that's always going to be top tier. Now the four star weak foot. You could actually question the weak foot. Low key. Because it missed a wide open opportunity. When the guy even moved the keeper the wrong way. But I'm not going to blame him too much. Because it is shooting mechanics in Fever 20. We all know it's absolutely shocking. But we had to deal with it. Now pace wise. I am going to give him a 10 out of 10 for pace. Because these fake shots around the corners. Especially with that strength. Is disgustingly good. Shooting wise. I am going to give him a 10 out of 10. When it comes down to shooting. I do feel like he missed chances. That he should have probably scored. But when. I'm telling you. When the ball went into the back of the net. You could tell the shot power, the accuracy, everything was pretty much there. Passing wise, this hands down is the best bit about him. Probably with the dribbling as well. 10 out of 10 for passing. I'm talking team of the season, De Bruyne, when it comes down to passing. That's how good it is. Dribbling wise, I just said he's the best dribbler I've ever used in this game. And he has to be a 10 out of 10 for that. Defending, even though I didn't play him in a CDM position and I did actually play him... I think it was once in the centre mid position for like 20, 30 minutes. I think he actually put in like two tackles, which was really nice from him because you could tell he was one of those players that would obviously go in for the ball and he's always going to come out of it. Now, when it comes down to physicality, I wasn't expecting like an insane amount of physicals coming into play. So obviously expected the stamina. To come into play. The jumping not really. Because he's 5 foot 8. But the strength. I thought was going to get. Like kind of. Balanced out with the aggression. If you know what I mean. I thought he wasn't going to be aggressive towards the ball. Then his strength not going to come into play. But I was completely wrong. My god is this guy strong. Shielding players off. Shoulder barging players off. Like what? Excuse me? With 71 aggression. You're doing those kind of stuff. Imagine if he had 99 aggression. This card would be on a whole new level just the same as him having obviously 5 star skill moves. It would be disgustingly different. But an overall rating out of 10. Come on now. It's obviously going to be a 10 out of 10. But I hope you guys did enjoy the review. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And for now, peace.